Exactly. Oh yeah, we were we were clearing out this picnic area last time I played. God. Oh wait, that goes back where it came from. So yeah, we'll just continue what we were doing last time and actually fight some of the uh, the proper soil fire. The, the trainers that are hanging out over here, because I kind of avoided them last time in person, because I was just looking for Pokemon in the grass. Exactly. That's why, like, I've, I've, it's very clear because just in general, like, it's my, it's my weak point of games. I hate scheduling and setting up games. It's the worst part, in my opinion, of getting games going. Once they're running, I, I love it. I have a blast. Getting games started, though, is the worst part. Also, has the volume. This sounds a little loud on my end. Maybe the volume got adjusted after last time? I don't know. Also, I've never seen this Pokemon, so we're about to try to catch it. Exactly. And that's the whole problem with Ashwell, is like, because of the setup that it is, it's never- it doesn't have a flow. There is no flow to get going, because it's monthly. And it's different people every time, practically. This is gonna hurt. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't too loud because it's. It felt like it was a little louder than you used to be, but that might be just because I. It was quiet until I started the game. Alright, let's see. I need somebody with some. Not too horribly damaging attacks, but won't get murdered by a bird, so. Let's go with a rock. Yeah, it was going well for a little while there, but then it just kind of just didn't go anywhere after a while. Like, starting the new season was, was probably a mistake, just because it was like, I had a good group for one week, and then just nothing. Don't you sing to me, bird. Poison itself, then. Yep. Hey, we caught a bird. Yeah, there's a few people that were like, yeah, I'll totally be able to make it, and then just never actually made it to a session. I'm just like, so you were lying to me, is what I'm getting from this. I have a shun. There's a lot of Pokemon over here that I don't have.
I love Trilara, it's so cool looking. Oop. Went to the wrong thing. Hopefully I don't just kill it beat this thing down instantly. Oh, there it went. That's what I was afraid of. Vinoville, what a name. Oh, triathlete. Oh, I think I get the reference they're going for though. He's he's really far away from Vinoville. <laughs> I think that's what they're going for. Yep, definitely gonna have to switch both. Because he'll one shot KO my Spoonie with that, because he's water type. So let's go for ground. He charged power for attack. Okay. Nine, two, eight. at some point soon. Maybe like 25, somewhere in that range. Farouk is so cool, looking from behind. That's a big butt. because I hate this. I should become a super nerd instead of just stay inside. Oh, and just stay inside, okay. You dummy. Ooh, Silverwind. I don't remember this part. It's been a long week, so I'm not surprised I don't forget it. I forgot everything.
Oh yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a te it can be tedious with the wrong groups of people, definitely. Uh, like I said, it's my weakness as a DM. Like I love DMing, but I hate getting people together to get the game going. That's why, like, when I had my last game running, we went for what? Rift, almost two years straight. I think maybe more. Because I just didn't want to end it, because it was just like, once I end this, like, it's gonna take a while to get it back going again. And it's not, it, I think that's true, it has been a long time since we ended last time. Honestly, like, despite that though, once you get rolling, it's so fun, it's so easy, and the only thing that I, that I hate about it, from a back-end perspective, is... It increases the chances of distracted players, because they they have literally the entire internet at their fingertips, so they can just do whatever they want. But once you get past that, like, there's a degree of, like, you have to either just trust your players or actively try to keep them engaged, but, like, if you can get the right players and get them in and have nice short, like, three to four hour sessions, you can do a lot in that time. I think um, online D&D is definitely worth the effort that it takes to get going, because it is very easy compared to getting groups of people together and traveling and everything else in real life. Oh, Terlard fainted because of poison. Oh crap. Oh yeah, I, 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 understand. I know there's people like you, Rift, that actually do pay attention, but there are definitely other players that are just like, doing three other things at the same time, or browsing another like website at the same time, whenever they're not actively doing something. Because that's why those people weren't actively doing something when they were being prompted to do stuff that wasn't, you know, specifically their turn. Like, outside of combat, there were definitely people that were just not putting any effort forward, because it wasn't their, like, they were busy, or they just didn't care. I'm not gonna name any names though, because that's just, that's no fun. But yeah, there were definitely players in that last game that were being problems. I really hate this Pokémon, by the way. Brailip is bullcrap. Like, I have no good Pokémon to counter Brailip currently. My only hope is to just burn it as fast as I can and make it down, take it down before it takes me down and gets me confused. Because I believe it's Water Psychic. And I just don't really have anything to deal with that. So, I mean, what other types can it really be? Yeah. Oh wow, it's not super effective. Oh, that's right, Spun is only bug type currently, not water bug.
Yeah. The match uh, is struck. A blazing star is born. Hey, thanks for the follow, Anger. How you doing today? Head back in the hand, heal up. He thinks yes. I was gonna say, Rift is uh, that's the one fun, one of those things that you don't really have to deal with with my games because I just don't. Alignment just doesn't matter. I don't care what your character's alignments are. If you care about your character's alignment, that's good for you, but I don't. I don't at all. Ah! Wasn't a bad day, hopefully. This is kind of what work is all about. It's been okay. Allergies bugging me a bit, but other than that, not too bad. Been looking forward to getting back to this again. I enjoy this game just for the nostalgia factor and the fact that it's different in ways that I find really interesting. Like, it's it's like playing an old Pokemon game, except it actually has a good story to it, unlike most Pokemon games. Where it's literally just, hey, kid, here have this, bye. It's fun, I like it a lot. It's definitely it's as tedious as any other Pokemon game, except it has the uh, the added tediousness of only being available on PC, so you can't carry it around with you and play it wherever you are. Although I think there is a mobile port in the works, like so you can play it on tablet at least. Which I think would definitely help it. this game a little bit more difficult though is that it is it is designed for more hardcore Pokemon players and not so much just casual. So if you play it on the regular difficulty, it is a little bit harder than the regular Pokemon games you tend to be. Okay, Bubble Beam has power 65, accuracy 100, so it's just better water gun. No reason not to just replace it then. screen it just oh I have to actually okay we're getting a bigger spooter that is a bubble spouter Spongari nice that's two bugs we've got now so now we have a water bug and a fire bug.
How convenient. Yeah, I was actually uh, talking to people about uh, Tim Horton the other day on one of the other discords I'm in. I believe one of their statements was literally like, I need to be in a game of yours someday, you're an interesting DM. <laughs> it's like, yeah, the Tim Horton game part was, that was some nonsense that I loved. Also, like, I love the fact that, like, there was that con- like, as soon as we got through the first por for portion of it, I knew, like, you guys were all like, how's this gonna turn around? Because, like, is, is Rift actually dead, or...? <laughs> died on the first day of you guys being there, and everybody was like, shit, what do we do? Because you didn't just die, you got split in half and then drug into a uh, fog of sulfurous gas, and everybody's like, ah, uh, I'm not going in there. I guess I'll just give this to Spawny for now, because they've got Poison Sting. At least it'll make that better. Spawnery, I guess, now. Oh yeah, we should check that. Let's see, Pokedex. Right? Like, think- when you think back on it, you're like, oh wow, yeah. I didn't think about the fact that, like, everybody was, like, panicking internally when that happened. Oh! I didn't know that before. Avidin is the evolved form of Burby. Now that makes sense. I can see it now, but I didn't. It didn't even click in. They're very different. <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at that horrible monstrosity. What a nightmare. Like, if you go from this cutesy, weird little bat thing that flies with a giant tail to that, life is suffering. Yeah, I was looking for... Yeah, 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 because they don't show you these when they level up. Its belly is filled with super hot lava that sprays at its opponents through the nozzle of its abdomen. Its aim is precise. Ooh. And here's Spunnery. It's f it fills its sponge-like skin with water and carries it into its hive. It can release all the stored water at once. Yeah, deep speech being relevant is always nice. Oh, it was Bashan. That's what I, I didn't end up catching, but I wanted to. I gotta get one of them at some point. Oh, 
Alright, now it's time to go fight the Outen army. No humans allowed! Yes. Glorflood. Glorflood was one of the better things to come out of that campaign. You detect some odd magic. The only way you can describe it in color is Glorflood. You know that Glorflood's not a word, and yet it makes the most sense to you. And thinking about it too hard makes your head hurt. Makes sense to him because he's just like, whatever, yeah. Sounds like some kind of odd cleaning product. Bubble your problems away. What the hell is that? Garlic kid, garlic, garlic kid. Oh no. Garlic hit the Pokemon hero. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting this. Take care. Oh. There's a Pokemon superhero named Garlic Kid who has a garlic clove for a head. Of course, this is the thing. At least they're not actually a Pokemon, like I thought they might have been. No, they might be though, who knows. But I'm pretty sure it's just a dude being a weirdo. Luna Pup, I've never seen this one, I'm gonna poison sting it. I was gonna try and catch it if it was a Pokemon, but I guess this is a trainer battle, so I can't. Hey, whoa, low kicks, that's, that's rude. Let's just make it rain. Oh, allergies. Oh, wow. Mignon? Never heard of that one. Yes, I'm going to switch my Pokemon because I want to gain more experience. I'll burn my Farouk out in the rain, dude. Not that I'm actually going to fight with him. I don't know, what is this one? I've never seen this one. It's probably ghost type given the little cloak. Dark type, that makes sense too, if that's what it is. 
Either way, let's mud slap in the face. Hey, super effective. Yeah, I can't really judge right now because all it's using is the same ability over and over. Also, I love that I, my flame body went off in the rain. That must be poison because ground is super effective. Bashoff. Uh, I need my rap watch to get to 25 because I think it's going to evolve soon. actually a Pokemon, I'm just... I, I guess. He might, must be a Pokemon, because I have to use the Pokemon Translator to hear him. Torment. Yeah, help the people get their Pokemon back. Hooray! I haven't seen it, so I can't really speak on that. But I believe you, because I don't like I don't like most horror movies, honestly, because they're usually pretty bad. It's just when they're good kinds of bad that I enjoy them. Maybe, like it, I I don't doubt it in the Pokemon universe that a Pokemon can or a human can learn to speak Pokemon if a Pokemon can learn to speak human. Like, I think almost all horror movies are bad, it's just different levels of bad. There's bad, and then there's campy bad, which is good, and it's ra in a roundabout way. But very rarely do horror films have actually good writing. Like, that's not a thing that happens. Oh yeah, jump scare horror is the lowest tier of horror. It's just cheap, easy scares. Finally! Got the XP share. I'm gonna give this to my Komite right now. I want to level up my Psychic Rock. I'm a Lumberjack and I'm okay. I work all night and battle all day. Ha! 
Yes. This is perfect. These are the kind of jokes that I expect a English-made Pokemon game to have, because they're good references to English-based humor. Which also, I want that clipped, but I'll have to either go back and clip it later or just have somebody clip it. Because that's great. It's funny that this thing is called Deer Rule, but it literally doesn't look anything like a deer. It honestly kind of looks more like a horse to me. A horse with weird metal parts. Anyways, shoot bubbles at it. Ooh, it survived because it has sturdy. Take your one free shot before you go down. <laughs> Alright, oh, forgot. Steel Hyper unaffected by poison. I'll struggle bug you then. Holo oh, yeah, there's a new Halloween movie this month. They're coming up. sci-fi channel. I haven't watched anything on the sci-fi channel in a while. I, I, I watch some of the shows, but I don't watch it on the actual channel because, well, I don't have television stuff. Especially further into the game than my previous playthrough was. last movie I will say that I was pleasantly surprised by would have to be one that a lot of people shit on and I honestly don't agree with them at all because it's such a good movie and that's Bright, the Netflix channel movie with uh, Will Smith. That movie was really good. I legitimately enjoy that movie a lot and it, it puts forth a interesting version of the idea of like what if fantasy was around until modern day like it's a good version of that kind of story if you haven't seen it yet i do highly advise it it's got a very cool like aesthetic to it it's i mean it's literally about a cop and his his new partner is an orc the first orc police officer and orcs are basically like Kind of stereotypically taken as the uh, as thugs and ruffians. So the orc community, kind of in the uh, universe of Bright, takes the place of the stereotypical black community that would be in a cop movie, kind of thing. I don't remember what this guy was going to do. Fossil revivification. Okay. How many fossils? Dang it, I keep accidentally talking to him. Yeah, 
yeah, it's really good, actually, despite... Like, it's cheesy, don't get me wrong. It's a cheesy movie, and it's Will Smith, so you can't... It's, you get that kind of humor to it, to a degree, but... It's legitimately really cool. It's, a, it's like if Shadowrun wasn't cyberpunk. Let's put it that way. If Shadowrun... If you took the ideas behind Shadowrun and put them in a modern setting, that's kind of what Bright is. It's got all the races kind of just sitting out in the real world, chilling out. Magic's kind of, it's there, but it's super rare, and nobody, only certain people can use it. And usually it's only elves and humans that ever have the ability to do it, and very few humans. And it's high risk, high reward, because it, when you, in order to use magic, you have to have a wand. And you, touching a magic wand, if you're not a magic user, will kill you. Like, you will literally explode. And that's what Bright is. Bright, the name of the movie, is what they call magic users. They're called Brights. But I like the way it did certain things, and like, yeah, there's definitely some, some stereotyping and stuff like that in there, but that's a commentary on modern society in a lot of ways, because modern society is filled with stereotyping. But one of the things that I really thought was a, a clever move is that a lot of the times when you see orcs just chilling out, they're wearing, like, football team shirts and stuff like that. And it's like, you know, when you think about it, football is 100% the sport that orcs would love. Orcs would be all about football. And elves are all a bunch of high-class, like, rich fops. Because when you live that long, you have plenty of time to build up skills and be smart. So they're very... they're almost all elves are top-class. I know it's an ability, I just don't know what it does. Come on, get into level again. <laughs> hey cutie, wanna trade numbers? Oh god. Now the other trainers are hitting on me. I'm 12 and what is this? Notice the spawnery. You've made me stronger. Hey, whoa. I didn't know I had that ability. Good to know. I probably have that ability too. Ah, okay. Small breaker lets it hit, like, that makes sense, I get it now. I gotta make sure I don't change to anything fire type. Um That's gonna be tough. A 
I think I'll just have to fight it. Moldbreaker probably also ignores ghost types, uh, ability to ignore normal type attacks. Run a struggle off. Wasting your turns making it rain, buddy. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Lombre. Oh, is that... I think that's the, uh... The evolved form of the... The leafed water thing. Low tad or whatever. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Flame whale. Don't you slap me. You son of a bitch. For fuck's sake. I really am beginning to hate this game's RNG because it's it seems to be horribly tilted towards them. The number of crits the enemies pull out is just so ridiculous. be confused with hidden power. Those are different things. Go back to the Pokemon Center because of bullcrap chaos from crits. Because I'm not wasting revive from this far away. Good progress this is sitting this session. Like Pokemon are starting to actually be able to t take take some hits, so it's not like it was before where I was just getting beaten down every five seconds and having to run back to the Pokemon Center. Sora. Fulung. Fulunge. Man. Poisoned. Oh, 
don't yawn at me. And now I'm asleep because of yawn. Nice waving Pokemon. Pokemans. Minion. Oh, I gotta switch. I know which one it is. I figured. Take that, sucker. Don't bite my fire Pokemon. You mess with the flame, you get burned. Nerd. Nice smile. I made this. A bongo cat emote, yes! Perfect. This is everything that the world needs. Bongo cat is love. There isn't a Pokemon Uranium spot. You know, I should actually look what Pokemon they're using next more instead of just continually tapping the button, because I don't honestly know anymore. How you doing, Cap? Ah, oh, this is enough to flame wheel. Just beating up Pokemon. Like you do. I was destined to lose. That's what a loser would say. Speaking of bugs... Right? Like, if 
you actually say that so uh, something like, I was destined to lose, you're just being a sore loser. You're like, oh, it was destiny, it's not my fault that I'm a loser. It's like, come on, bruh. I'm not the real loser, destiny made me this way. Mm -hmm. aren't actually anything but bugs. They gain their extra types as they're at the second evolution, so I can just burn them all. As long as they don't pull quick attack or aren't faster, I can just burn them before they even touch me. Who knew lighting fires, bugs on fire was so effective? is so adorable and also stupid at the same time. You missed it though, Verdon. We ran into a, a Pokemon superhero and it broke me for a moment. Like, it was just unexpected and hilarious. More bug Pokemon, yes, gimme gimme, let me burn them. Camper Sean! That's not a bug Pokemon, you lied to me. Jerk. Shouldn't tell lies. It's not very effective, it only did over half of its health. Critical hit! I would have never expected that to come up every five seconds. Wow, 
rare candy. Oof. Hey y'all! Pokemon breeder Juno. She looks very different than what her sprite did. Her sprite looked like a cowgirl. What is this? Everything with the quick attacks. Magnitude 9. Get wrecked. Everything has quick attack. <laughs> Flaffy. Probably gonna be wrapping up here soon, though. So we'll be kind of in the middle of this route when we start up again. Because it's getting about that time. I'm actually gonna just go ahead and save look right here in front of this kid. So the next time we pick up and I'll know exactly what I'm doing. I'm beat up this kid. a good setting. We got through quite a lot. We caught like two or three new Pokemon. We beat like a dozen and a half trainers. We did the out thing. We finally got the EXP share that I've been complaining about not having for six episodes now. So that's a nice change of pace. My Comite's going to be leveling up passively for now because I really want to level up my Psychic Rock. We evolved Spoony this time and Faroak last time so we've got two evolved po bug Pokemon. I don't think Raptorch is far off from leveling at this point. I think he'll he'll be evolving before level 30. The party's starting to come together. I definitely need to find something that can take deal with water and psychic types better than what I have currently, but for now, this is a good party. At some point, I'm going to definitely be swapping out the, uh, the Pathar because I've got too many fire... too many things that are weak to water, I should say. So a Firebird is not a good choice. But none of the other birds have really caught my attention. But until then, this is where we'll, we'll end it for tonight, so keep your torches lit, delve deep, and keep rolling. <laughs>